morning I looked outside my window Where children lighting up the Christmas tree And the snow is falling It reminds me of the good times Those winters we would spend just you and me It's been such a long time But tomorrow's Christmas Day And I am on my way I'm coming home for Christmas Yes, I'm coming home to you Good morning, everyone. I just finished getting myself sort of ready um, because I am going to go out and buy some gift wrap and ribbon and um, gift tags and all that stuff because I will be doing some gift wrapping today, which I'm very excited about. I don't have all of my gifts yet because, well, me being me, I like to leave things to the last minute. So I don't have everyone's presence yet, or rather, they haven't arrived yet um, but I decided that I am going to wrap everything that I have now and then once everything else arrives then I can kind of wrap those and I figured you know what at least then I wouldn't have like a ton of gift wrapping to do and I'm kind of gonna be frantically doing it in one day I'm gonna wrap all the gifts that I have now and just kind of have them go underneath the tree and I think that'll look really really pretty um, I'll probably end up making myself a chocolate and um, putting on a Christmas movie while I do that or just Gilmore Girls because well you know but yeah that's the plan for today I'm very excited I also once I kind of get all the gift wrapping done I wanted to sit down with you and show you all of the things I've been buying and receiving recently um, because a it's been a while since we've done that and B I kind of promised you in last vlog that I would show you the things that I got at um, Aritzia and Fendi so I figured I would kind of show you all that stuff once I got back and finished up all the gift wrapping which of course I will do with you um, and yeah so that's kind of the plan for today i'm gonna just quickly put on a coat get all bundled up to go for a nice little walk and and i'll probably pick up a coffee whilst i'm out as well because well you can never have enough coffee <laughs> i got my glasses ready to go out and we're good so anyways let's get bundled up and let's go hello everyone i just got home and unfortunately i didn't really vlog while i was out just because honestly my hands were super super full and i was on my own so i just between holding everything and a camera it did not work out so i picked everything up i'm back home now i'm ready to start gift wrapping um so I've got some of the gifts that I need to wrap up right now in front of me and then I will get started on that. So I'm going to show you what I got. So I'm just going to set you down. All right. Can you see me? I'm going to show you guys what I got. So the first thing that I got are were these cute little tissue paper packs from Indigo. Um, honestly, these two were $4 each and everything that was like gift wrap, holiday stuff at Indigo was 40% off, which is phenomenal. So I ended up getting these um half price basically because i did also have like my plum rewards card as well um but so cute you get three colors in here you get um like a beautiful green like a kind of like an off-white color and then a little design one so i thought that was really really cute just to kind of wrap things up inside of boxes or if i do have anything that's like in a bag i thought this would be really really cute next i got two rolls of craft wrap just because i'm not using any like colored or patterned um wrapping paper is just gonna all be like the brown color and i struggled to find ribbon i looked everywhere to find ribbon um i looked at the dollar store and usually the dollar store is great for like ribbon and stuff or perhaps they just didn't have the same variety as every other year but i was struggling to find um ribbon i did want initially like sage green or like a very deep red and unfortunately i couldn't find any of that. So what I did find was these um, burlap ribbons. So I actually got three of these guys. Did I get three? Yeah. So I actually got three of these guys and it's just a pack of three. So you get kind of like a white color, the traditional brown color, and then black as well. I do have quite a lot of black elements in my apartment. So I figured kind of playing around with that within the gift wrapping would be kind of fun. And so with that, I also found um, this super cute ribbon that's got little snowflakes on it again i've got little white elements all around my tree and around my apartment so i thought that was really really cute and um as i mentioned i was looking for sage green and like a deep red i just couldn't find any of those colors that i really liked i might end up ordering them off of amazon but for now i did get a black ribbon just in case i decide to use it um 
I feel like black is a little bit of a not so nice color for Christmas, but I guess if you're trying to be aesthetic, like what does it matter? Um, I don't know. So anyways, I got that just in case, but I'm gonna start wrapping up some presents um, right now and I'm gonna play around with how to make some nice bows with some burlap and um, yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna start gift wrapping. I'm gonna put on a movie and I'm gonna make myself a tea as well. So yeah. a feeling now it's time for christmas and christmas is my favorite time of year it's beginning to look like all my wishes so these are the gifts i got two different types of ribbon i found this one at um, HomeSense, I actually found both of the ribbons at HomeSense, but this is just a beautiful black ribbon. Um, and then this one I absolutely fell in love with because it's got like these beautiful little snowflakes on it. But again, this has a really like organic feel to it. I just love how it turns. Oh, I always leave doors open and it's so frustrating when I'm vlogging and there's doors open in the background. I'm not perfect people. <laughs> I love leaving drawers and doors open, so I always have to go around and shut them. <laughs> but um, essentially, um, I realized that at the beginning of the video, I shared me getting my nails done, and I go to Majesty's Pleasure um, in Toronto, and Grace um, is the one who does my nails. So if you're looking for a amazing, and when I say amazing, I mean amazing, nail tech, um, Grace is just absolutely phenomenal. She has been my nail tech now for, oh my god, like, four months and I'm very excited. I will not be parting ways with her. She is literally phenomenal. I always get gel nails. I have been doing shellac slash gel for years and years and years now. I don't like acrylic. I feel I find that that's too hard on your nails. Same with dip. So I don't do any of that. I just keep it to gel and I don't do hard gels either. Sorry, I just relocated because I wanted to be able to talk with my hands. But um, recently we found the most beautiful color. So Grace, well, first of all, let me show you. So this is the color that I went for this time. And I feel like it's just like my signature color now. And the color is Bouquet by CND. I do three coats of it on my nails. Grace is really well known for what's called the Grace cocktail which is a unique color combination that she does so she uses two different colors and honestly it is one of the most beautiful colors I have ever seen it is literally the most perfect nail color ever but me being me being super picky with my nails I typically love a white undertone on my nails as opposed to something that is a little pinkier or purpley and so when she did her color on me, although I loved it and would absolutely get it again, I still felt like I wanted my nails to look just a little bit whiter. And so I said, hey Grace, can you just do one of the colors that you typically use and just do three coats of that? I would love to see what that looks like on um, because that is also the color that I get on my nails when I do a French manicure with her. I will get two coats of it plus the French line and that's my nail look. And then the one day I had gone almost four weeks without getting my nails done um, because that is how good she is, that your nails will last forever um, until they're like super grown out. And so my nails were so grown out that I ended up filing off the white tips and just having like the base color on my nails. And I said, oh my God, I absolutely love it. Like it looks gorgeous. And so next time around I said, hey, let's just do the one color. And we did and I love it. And so if you're going to Grace, cause I know that um, she has had some girls go to her who um, follow me and just have gone to her and said I want exactly what Sam gets and I think that is so cool like literally you have no idea how excited and happy it makes me to hear that um, so if you are going to Grace um, literally just tell her Sam's color which is the bouquet and it's three coats of it because it's just like it's the most perfect it just looks so perfect it's so classy it's so like timeless um you just can't go wrong with this color i just wanted to tell you guys that because when i shared it on my instagram everyone went crazy and wanted to know the color so for my youtube ladies it's bouquet by cnd three coats not two not one three <laughs> Um, I am just about to go pick up a package from Aritzia that I got um, 
And I, once I bring it up, I will sit down with you and do a little bit of an unboxing and kind of show you a bunch of things that I've been buying and all that stuff. I think I mentioned it earlier in the vlog, so I'm not gonna repeat myself um, because I tend to do that. Um, another thing with Aritzia that's been on my mind and I find it a little bit frustrating because it's so hard to explain myself over text or over DMs and comments and stuff. I love Aritzia. Um, I have for years and years and years, I've been wearing it for, oh my God, I don't even, since I was like probably 12, I've been wearing Aritzia. Um, I got my first wool coat from Aritzia, I think in 2013. So that's how long it's been that I've been wearing Aritzia for. Um, and a lot of people have assumed that I've been sharing less Aritzia because my style has been evolving. And that is so far from the truth. I love Aritzia. I think their quality of the stuff is phenomenal. Um, I love the style of their items, but Something about Aritzia that is actually, I would consider a, um, a positive, I think this is a great thing that Aritzia has, um, is the fact that they aren't always launching new items. They have the same core items and they are constantly re-releasing those items in different colors. They will also change the name of items, even though it's the same item. Um, and so now that is a positive because in many ways, it means that the style of item that they're releasing is timeless enough and classic enough that despite the fact that it's been six years that item is still going to be relevant um but what happens is when someone like me whose job it is to share new items constantly for you guys i just don't feel comfortable sharing the same skirt every single season um in a new color because i first of all don't need that many colors in my own wardrobe and so Yes, you can still buy my black twirl skirt. Yes, you can still buy my Cypri dress, my Cypri sweater, my spa dress, um, my Elba dress, my blazers, most of my blazers, um, my Conan pants, my agency pants. There is almost everything that I have from Aritzia you can still buy. Um, and so I just haven't seen them release anything new that I love. I would absolutely buy my agency pants in new colors. Um, I could buy all the things that I already own in new colors, but I just don't feel like I need them in my wardrobe. That would just be too much shopping and I just don't need it in my wardrobe. And so my priority is to share pieces with you guys that I love. And so if I'm not sharing with you something from H&M or Aritzia or from anywhere, it just means that I haven't found something that I love. And I will keep saying this until you guys remember it and I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I only share things that I love and so um, I love Aritzia and this is a new dress from Aritzia which I'm very excited to show you because I know that a lot of you are gonna love it. Um, but it's been a while um, that I've walked into Aritzia and picked up an item and said, whoa, it's new, it's beautiful, no one has it, I don't have it. And even then, I pretty much have this dress in a different color. So that's just been my struggle with Aritzia. I think it's not a negative by no means. I think it's amazing that they have their core items, but for someone whose job it is to share with you new items, um, it gets a little bit hard because I don't wanna be, like I don't wanna be sharing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So that's that. Before I go downstairs to grab my package, um, let me quickly show you what I'm wearing. All right, so this is the new dress from Aritzia. I believe this is called the Daydreamer dress. I have the Elba dress, which is exactly the same dress. It's just a midi length dress as opposed to a shorter length. I just fell in love with this brown color. I think it's so, so beautiful. I did pair it with my Dior belt and I've kind of tucked it up to kind of shorten the dress. That way I could wear it with boots because without kind of tucking it up, the dress does go past my knees. Um, but I just love the look of this dress with boots and this is how I would wear it to go out. I think it's so beautiful, so comfy. Also, if you just kind of don't wear a belt with it, I think it's super, super nice. You can eat lots and you're gonna be super comfy the whole night. Um, but again, I've just been in love with this kind of like chocolate brown color. Anything in this color, I will buy and I love. So this is the new dress from Ritzy and I think so many of you are gonna love it. So perfect for work or the holidays um, or even just with like a cozy sweater on top. I think would look really, really nice to just kind of be around the house. So yeah, that's the new dress from Ritzy. And I got it in a size extra small. Um, it does fit quite loose, so you're more than welcome to kind of go down a size if you want something a little bit tighter, perhaps not as kind of loose around the body. But yeah, I'm just, 
I'm just in love with it. And I think it's so, so beautiful. Hello everyone. I've just come in here and yes, I took my belt off. I may put it back on, but I was sitting down doing some work and I just felt constricted by my belt. So I took it off. Come on here because I really wanted to take some time to not only show you some of the pieces in my Missouri collection, but to also give you some ideas as to um, what you can gift your loved ones for the holidays. I have a couple new pieces that I think are just absolutely beautiful and so I really really wanted to share those with you and with that being said I do want to mention that this part of the video is an integrated paid for partnership with Missouri and as always I am so proud and happy to work with Missouri I love everything that they do I love what the company stands for um, and so I'm always just super excited to share new pieces with you guys and so I have my jewelry box right here beside me and I thought not only would I take you through kind of what's in here but some pieces that I think would be amazing gifts for the holidays. I'm just gonna take the tray out so it's easier to show you guys what's going on here but as you can see um, I kind of have my rings organized in the way I would stack them so I have all of my dome rings here these are some of my favorite items because they are so beautiful all on their own and then there's going to be some thinner bands up here which are my favorite stacking pieces because you are able to put other rings and more statement rings in between them and it's going to look beautiful. And then we've got the thin Charlotte bold. And the reason there's no more Charlotte rings up there is because they're a little bit wider and so I keep all of my Charlotte collection just in this little area over here. We've got my little um, Charlotte hoops which you will all know is one of my favorite um, earrings. And then I've got... The first ring, I feel like this ring just has like sentimental value because it was the first ring I ever got from Missouri, but this is the Charlotte Bold ring. And this is the ring that I think would make the most beautiful gift. It's such a beautiful ring that regardless of whether you have any other jewelry items, um, it's just gonna look beautiful all on its own. You need nothing to go with it. So the Charlotte Bold ring is without a doubt a great gift because you need nothing else to go alongside it. And kind of staying within this area, I have some more hoops. I've got all of my pearls here. So I've got my bold pearl earrings. Um, I've also got my little drop pearl pendants, which we all know are some of my favorite earrings. And then over here, I've got my little um, baby box chain bracelet, which I took off and was unable to put back on myself. And into the second tray of my jewelry box is gonna be a lot of my bold statement necklaces. So we've got a few here. We've got my chain link necklace, which is one of my favorites for the summer. I loved wearing that necklace with bathing suits and dresses throughout the summer. It's such a beautiful necklace. Um, and then we've got um, my baby box chain necklace with some other diamond necklaces in there. I've got my beautiful bold pearl necklace, which is like one of my pride possessions. I think this necklace is so beautiful. It's just one of my absolute favorites. And then I've got the sphere collection here and the necklace and bracelet, which I will show you, that I really want to take a moment to talk to you guys about. The herringbone collection has been one of my absolute favorite um, collections. And I think this is a collection that would make just the most beautiful Christmas gift. So not only do you have a beautiful kind of gold statement necklace, again, you can wear it on its own, you can stack it up with other beautiful things, but it also comes with a beautiful bracelet. And this is the bracelet that catches everyone's attention. I'm always wearing this bracelet um, in my reels, in my photos. I mean, in fact, I actually haven't taken it off since I got it. So of course it would be on me every single day. But this is the bracelet that matches the herringbone necklace. And I have to say, it is just truly one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever owned. There is nothing this bracelet just doesn't look beautiful with. It's so classy. It's still a statement piece, so you can wear it all on its own. And so I really wanted to mention the herringbone collection because I think it's just truly beautiful. And the last part of my jewelry box, since you guys are really curious about my jewelry box and my collection, I have little miscellaneous items in here. This is something you can actually get through Missouri, but it's something to help you get the correct ring size. So it's gonna help you measure your finger so you can choose the best size of ring. And I also have a couple of these um, jewelry polishing cloths. These are gonna come with every order. And I've heard so many people you know, say that they're concerned that their jewelry doesn't look the same as when they got them. Keep your cloths, and when your jewelry starts to look like it's just, you know, been worn a lot, give it a clean, and it's gonna look 
brand new. These cloths are especially made to actually clean your jewelry. In fact, I've got a used one here. This is what it's going to look like when you've used it. So I've used mine to clean my necklaces, my rings, um, and it's just going to help polish your jewelry and make it look brand new again. Um, so that's something that's really important to note, but that's usually what I keep at the bottom here. I just have kind of like little miscellaneous items in there. And so that's a little tour of my jewelry box. I have a very minimal collection, but as you guys know, I love mixing and matching and stacking things in totally different ways. And so with that, I wanted to show you my newest additions to my collection. And again, I'm always super careful to pick out items that are going to complement everything else that I already have. First new item is a part of the new Charlotte collection. And this is the diamond studded one. As you can see, it is so beautiful. The next item that I have to go with it is another one of the same collection, but this one does not have any diamonds. So this is the um, ring here and I've stacked it with another one of my um, older rings. Unfortunately, this one's not available anymore. This is their ceramic diamond ring. Um, but again, I've stacked it together and it looks so beautiful. These are the two newest rings to my collection and I have to say I love them both so, so, so much. I've gotten quite a few compliments on this one. I think it just catches people's eye with the diamonds and just how beautiful the design is. And so those are the two newest rings that I've added to my collection and I think they would make amazing Christmas gifts for someone or for yourself because I mean, we can always treat ourselves, right? <laughs> but with that being said, I do want to let you guys know that you will be able to save 10% off your Missouri order by shopping through my link. I will leave everything in the description box for you guys. All of my Missouri pieces will be in my landing page. So you will essentially be able to browse my jewelry box um, and all of the pieces that I have on there. And I also did want to mention, and again, this is dependent on where you are located, but if you are based in Canada, the last day you are able to shop to get your order on time for Christmas is December 21st, um, which is awesome. You have loads and loads of time to still shop. I will also leave all of the date for the rest of the world so that way you guys know when the last day is that you'll be able to shop. And I will also be sure to link all the pieces that I mentioned in this video in the description box. I just wanted to put this in here before I start chatting to you about um, what I've been buying and all that stuff because I was just really excited to be able to share this before the holidays with you guys. So anyways, let's get on to our little unboxing and shopping haul now. All right, so I just picked up my Aritzia package and I don't know where to start. I guess I'm gonna start with Aritzia since I was already talking about Aritzia. Now, this is where the dress was, but I decided to put it on today because I couldn't wait. Um, but the other thing I got from Aritzia is tights. So these are the everyday sheer tights from Babaton. Now, they've changed so much and I did buy a pair of tights, I believe it was last year. Um, I still have them. They are the 30 denier and they are probably some of the best and most high quality tights I have ever gotten. And they were only $25. And so when I went into Aritzia, I was looking for tights because I wanted to get a second pair because they were just so good. Um, I ended up finding two pairs, so I got one for me and one for my mom, and I couldn't recommend these enough. These are great to just layer under dresses, under pants even. If you're just wanting to wear them on their own with a skirt or dress, I think it would look super, super cute. But if you're looking for a really good pair of the tights that are more on the affordable side, these are just phenomenal. I could not recommend these enough. And I got mine in a size medium. I just followed the kind of sizing guide they actually didn't have a small i probably would have bought a small if they had them but um i mean 5'1 to 5'6 height 110 to 150 pounds i mean i still seems like a medium will fit fine maybe a little bit looser but no big deal they still fit so i will buy so i would say just go with your usual size um and follow the guide the sizing guide i think that's totally cool so that's what i got then the other purchase that I'm really excited to share with you is something from Fendi and um, I'm really excited about this because I was looking for a scarf high and low here and there everywhere I wanted a new scarf um, that I would be able to wear with my coats I obviously have my Burberry scarf which I love and I couldn't recommend more enough um, but I wanted something a little bit different something that was gonna be a little bit of a thicker material um, just a bit more scarf without being like an oversized blanket scarf. And so, um, what I ended up finding, and I have the funniest story about this, um, scarf, but the scarf that I ended up going with 
is this one right here. So this is a double-sided scarf. So on one side, you've got the Fendi print. Um, on the other side, it is just plain black and you've got some little tassels here. As I mentioned to you guys, I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit thicker um, in both material and size. Um, and I had actually gone to the Fendi boutique in Yorkdale, because they have a really nice Fendi boutique there. And I had seen the large logo print on, I think it was like um, a sweater or something like that, and I loved the large print. And I said to her, hey, like, do you have it in the scarf? And she goes, no, it's completely sold out everywhere. And I was like, dang, like, um, I really, really like it. Um, obviously, it seemed like a lot of other people did too. And so I was like, okay, well, whatever. It's no big deal. I'll keep looking for the perfect scarf. And so I ended up stopping into the Fendi at Holt Renfrew. Um, I have always had great luck at the Holt Renfrew on Bloor. I just have the best of luck there. And the associates are typically just amazing. And so anyways, I went into that boutique and I saw that they had the um, large print scarf in a military green. And I thought to myself, you know what? Why don't I try on the scarf to see if I even like the print? You know, just because it looks good on the hanger doesn't mean it'll look good on myself. And it also doesn't mean that I'm going to like it on myself. Um, and I really loved it. And so the associate goes, okay, well, let me show you what we have anyways. Um, and she pulled out all their scarves. Um, she told me she kind of went through all the different materials, different styles, the different colors, the different colorways, what she could order, what she couldn't. She was awesome. And when she pulled out this one, it immediately caught my eye. And the reason it caught my eye was as much as it's a Fendi logo, from afar, you really can't tell what's going on with the design. Um, I also just loved this brown and black. That's the kind of colorway I really wanted my scarf to be, just because I've been wearing a lot of brown lately. And I also, I mean, I've always worn a lot of black. That's, that's not new. <laughs> but I wanted something that was going to be a little bit of a contrast to whatever it is I was wearing, especially because I've been wearing my black coat from Aritzia quite a lot recently. Um, as much as I fell in love with this one when I tried it on, um, I was still unsure because I had yet to try on the other scarf with the bigger print on it in the color that I wanted it. I was, and I was about to walk out because I just wanted to be able to compare both to make sure that I was making the right decision. And as I'm kind of saying that, the, the, the other employee um, at the Fendi Boutique goes, you know what, I have mine um, in the back room. And she goes, if you're comfortable trying it on, I would be more than happy to bring mine out and you can try it on. Like that is the most amazing customer service in my opinion. But um, so she brings out her own personal scarf, the exact one that I was, you know, wanting to try on and had been sold out. Um, and the moment I try it on, I just, it was okay. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, it's beautiful. And everyone really liked the big pattern and I did too it was beautiful and then I said okay let me try on this one again and the moment I tried this one on my face lit up and that is something that is so important for me is that when you try something on and your face lights up and you stand a little taller and you just feel good that's usually a good sign and that's usually letting you know that that's probably the item that you should go with and so after having that moment of like oh I feel really good in this um, I decided to go with the smaller print one, which um, I hadn't seen anywhere else, to be honest. I've only really seen like the big pattern um, F logo on everything, which is so gorgeous to begin with. But for some reason, this was the one that caught my eye. And I love that from, again, from afar, it's a little bit hard to tell what the actual logo even is. It's very modern, very minimal. Um, I love it. I also love the colorway on it. So. That's what I got from Fendi and I will without a doubt be linking this one below for you guys because the quality is beautiful and it's just such a beautiful scarf. So I will definitely link that one down below for you guys. It would also make an amazing, amazing gift if you know someone that you know um, loves to just cuddle up in scarves throughout the winter months. Um, so that's what I got from Fendi. The next, I'm gonna open up the Saritzia package um, because well, I just received it. I'm very excited to show you. It's a little bit of a different purchase for me, to be honest. I don't typically buy things like this, I would say, but you know what? I don't know. I just really liked it and I felt the need for it. So um, you're also not going to be surprised by the color of this. And no, it's not black. It's not black. So let's see what we got. 
All right, so the first thing that I got is a little cropped um, tank top. And the only reason I got this is because I just wanted something that I could wear um, to work out in, to go to the gym, if I was just wearing my Lululemon pants to do yoga in the morning. Um, and then it was something that I could quickly throw on like a sweater over top of. Um, and again, super inexpensive. I think this was like $20 or something like that. Yeah, it was $25. Um, it's just a nice cotton material, so super comfy. Um, and I got this one in a size small. So again, very, very simple staple. I just feel like I've been missing some basics. Um, and I wish Aritzia had more items that weren't cropped. Um, thankfully, all of my pants or most of my pants are high-waisted anyway. So wearing a cropped top like this um, won't show barely any midriff. So that's the first one that I got. And this was the Corellis um, tank. The next thing that I got is a little set from TNA. Now, I've never tried TNA. Um, this is a brand that I've just, it's never spoken to me. I've always been very partial to Lululemon, um, and I love LNDR as well. I know I've mentioned them um, on my channel before, but I've never really been um, inclined to try TNA. But I saw that they had a bunch of things in like brown, so it called my attention. <laughs> so anyways, I picked up the TNA Chill Atmosphere um, Mid-Rise 7-8 Leggings in a size small. So these are not a workout pant. These are very much a, um, I just realized these have a raw hem, but these are a cotton kind of material and it actually, you know what, they feel very, very great, only being $25. Um, and I got them in a size small. Um, again, these were a perfect length for me because these are a 26 inch inseam and 26 and usually for me a 25 and 26 inch seam is perfect. And so with these guys, I got the matching tank. This one is not as cropped as the other one. Um, but I really want to try this one out because if I liked it, then I would go, then I'm going to go ahead and buy it in black and white because I've just been missing tank tops in my wardrobe. I had a great one from Babaton that I got last year. I lost it. I don't know how I lost it, but I can't find it. Um, and so if I like this, then hopefully I will buy it in other colors, but I got it to kind of match, um, the pants. I just thought that was a really cute kind of matching set. Um, and then I've been dying to have just extra cozy casual sweaters in my wardrobe to just kind of be around the apartment um you know if i'm doing errands or if i'm tidying up the place um and so when i saw this i was like oh my god it just screams cozy so again it's just this like super cozy material and it's the same material on the inside like how cozy is that i'm so i just want to try this on like right now because this just has to be like the coziest sweater ever and this color i'm obsessed with <laughs> i couldn't i'm just i'm in i'm in love with this so i'm really excited to try it on i would probably try it on um as soon as i'm done filming this to show you guys because i just i i'm obsessed um so that's from Aritzia. last thing i want to show you guys is what i got from the dior event um which thank you all so much for your wonderful and kind supportive messages yes it was a dream come true honestly it was so wonderful to be able to to attend an event like that um it was also really nice to meet other people in this industry because obviously being online and you're not working at an office you don't really get to meet people um and so events like that are usually super super nice because you get to meet other people who are doing the same thing as you um, and especially when you know it's someone that you've been following online and you interact with their stuff online um, it's really cool to actually get to see who they are in real life so anyways um, let's get in here and I've already used this I just had to try it out but we got a bottle of the Ja Dior fragrance but all of the bottles were customized with our names on them and these beautiful little designs when I tell you this is the most beautiful fragrance like you better believe me I actually went into the Dior um, boutique before the event because I knew that the event was kind of surrounding the fragrance and I wanted to go into the event kind of knowing what we were there for what the fragrance smelled like um, and when I smelled it at the store I didn't love it I was like mm, it's just not my type of fragrance it's and so when we got this gifted to us, I said, well, you know what, let me give it a chance. So I sprayed it on myself and I fell in love. 
the fragrance completely changed as it hit my skin and obviously fragrances will change depending on your pH and your skin um, and this one changed for the better it smells completely different on me than it does in the bottle and that is one of the reasons why I'm so glad that I actually tried it on my skin. But that's what we got at the Dior event. It's truly such a beautiful fragrance. I would highly recommend um, for you to go and smell it and actually spray it and put it on your skin. Even just spraying it on your wrist. That way you can actually see what the fragrance smells like on your skin. Because from my personal experience, the way it smells on the bottle is just completely different than the way it smells on myself. Um, and I just, I love it so, so much. So anyways, I'm going to go put on these new pieces because I'm really curious to see how they fit and how they feel on my body. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I feel like we haven't had one of these little sit down moments in quite some time. All right, so here are the TNA pieces. I am absolutely loving this sweater and unfortunately I'm not quite in love with these um, leggings I did have to roll them up I got a size small and it seems like they're just a little bit big they're quite big on my waist as well and I just feel like I'm not loving I just don't love the material it is a cotton material which I knew but I wanted to kind of give it a chance and I'm just I'm not loving it um I do love the tank top though. I will be without a doubt buying more of the tank tops in different colors. And I love this sweater as well. I think it's beautiful. I think the biggest thing with these pants is that yes, they were $25. Um, and I just don't think they're going to last. And I really don't want something in my wardrobe that I'm going to wear a couple times. And then it's going to either fall apart or look like I've had it for 10 years. I would just prefer to spend a little bit more and have leggings that are going to last in my wardrobe. Um, for many many years to come and I just don't feel like these leggings are gonna last so unfortunately I think these will be going back and I'm gonna see if I can find something else um, kind of in the same color as this sweatshirt because you can also tell it's not quite the same color even though it calls um, even though they're supposed to be so yeah but I'm definitely keeping this sweater I love how cozy and soft it is and even just to go for like a nice walk um, I think it's super super nice but yeah, you can also, I also want to show you, so right now I have it kind of rolled up, um, but the full length of the sweater, you kind of can roll it down to kind of cover your bum a little bit, which personally I do love doing, but um, yeah, I just think that these leggings are, they're just not doing anything nice for me. 